Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flare Mouse. Very excited to show you this brand new projectile. What's very unusual about it, it was made by a psychiatrist. So put on your puffy pants and relax, and let's see how this thing flies. This very aggressive looking projectile was the brainstorm of Chris Bondi, who is a psychiatrist, so I guess we should call him Dr. Bondi. Now the brass body is the classic Diablo shape, but adding that long uh, 30 caliber bullet on the front, I don't know what that's going to do. So let's get out there and test them out. All right, these were sent to us by uh, Chris Bondi. The, he, uh, he machined those things, they're nice. They're machined, they're a Diablo shaped brass pellet with a 30-06 black tip <laughs> inserted into it. I don't know what that's gonna do, if it's gonna throw up the balance or act like a weather vane or, you know what I mean? We're gonna shoot them through the Benelli with a rifle choke, just give it a little spin. I think they'll need spin, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Just Very, very unusual, cool round if they work. Very nose heavy. So we're gonna give it a spin because of that. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna shoot against a quarter inch stainless plate downrange and See if we can even hit it. This will be like the, tell us if they're accurate or not. Yeah, this is a, this is a first. And, and uh, one of them he made is out of titanium, has a titanium body. That would be this one. Yeah. So, we'll shoot that one last. It's a lot, it's actually a lot lighter. I think it's 20, 24 grams or something like that. Definitely a difference in weight. Yeah. It feels pretty heavy. There we go. He hit it. Good sign. Pretty Broke good the board. Using the rifle choke, it gave us a little bit of a spin, but not very much. But look how stable that thing is. Now, when we looked at the damage, we, we thought it might have hit sideways. Now, when I came home and reviewed the footage on the computer screen, it I was really surprised how stable it was with almost no spin at all. But that's really a testament to that Diablo shape. I was trying to get it over here in a clean spot, but it went to the left a little bit. Californians. Hit, 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 hit a bulge. <laughs> uh, but it was still intact. You can see the brass smear and then where the uh, black tip was, but it Looks like it hit sideways a bit. Okay, maybe it needs a little more rifling, huh? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll run it through a full rifle and see what it does. Okay, should we shoot at the same plate? We may as well. Yeah, we can, yeah, yeah. See if we can get it up in here. Yeah, we need a, a good representative shot. Okay. Okay, now through full rifling. Yeah, Mossberg 500, fully rifled barrel. Okay. Where are you aiming at? The clean spot of the plate? Yeah, top right uh, quadrant there. Okay. While the full rifling definitely gave the slug more spin, it didn't really stabilize it any better. But as you could see, the accuracy was greatly improved using that rifled shotgun, which also has decent optics on it. Okay, I think we have success that time. Finally. It seems to like a full rifled barrel. Yeah, yeah, I was. I really thought that, but we, I had to try it through the choke. That was pretty much my point of aim, was in this area. Good impact and a full pass through. Wow. Right there, quarter inch stainless. That's tough to penetrate with a slug, you know, but yeah. A bullet will go through it, you know. Then what we found on the ground over here beside it was the back end of a... Yeah, you can see my little marquee. Hey, look, it bulged out the back. It did. It shoved that bullet back a bit. B bulged brass. It got broke a, the, the core got on this. Got a tiny bulge. <laughs> and then flip it around, you can see the steel a, core. Steel core broken. Yeah. Not smashed. Well, I, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. All right. it's, it's, how about the lead plate next? See what it'll do that. I bet it'll go through that. I might get a full pass through with everything. Yeah. 
it actually cracked the brass just slightly. Wow, okay. I'm glad we found that one because it was just laid on the ground. Very, very cool. Still got some clean spots. I do need to recast this. I just need to get some more propane. But uh, he'll be aiming in this area. Uh, okay, I, everything's running. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Three sixty-three. Is it on meters per second? So yeah, I had the chronograph on meters per second. I decided in the last minute to put an orange sticker on the lead plate so you could see exactly where Danny's aiming, and that thing landed smack dab right on top of that sticker. That is one very accurate slug. Very impressive. What happened, Danny? All right, Chris. Let's Chris? See. Oh, the, the guy that made him. The guy that made him. Okay, yeah, yeah, call yeah. me Chris. Chris, no. <laughs> Those things definitely like a full rifle barrel. Oh yeah. Here's what we got. And I think I hit the orange dot, the laser. You, you, I think you landed right on it, man. I, think I hit the laser sticker. You can see the base of that. It's buried in there. It's I buried. might be able to get that out when I remelt it. That's up to first pinky knuckle. <laughs> okay, what, did, did it go through though? Well. Oh boy. Oh boy. The bullet continued on, that 30-06 uh, black tip continued on no problem. And these aren't really loaded that hot. Nah. We found out our chrono was uh, <laughs> on meters per second. On meters per second, so that'll make some of you happy. Yeah. Uh, Governor. But yeah. That's awesome, man. Definitely. I like it when when rounds work, you know. Oh, I think he's got something there. Those are <laughs> Those are wild, man. Let's try it on an AR500 plate. I I hear you. Okay. Let's see what it'll do. Okay, he's going for the orange sticker again. For uh, people who always want to know where he's aiming. I thought that was a pink unicorn tear. <laughs> okay, uh, we got it at an angle. Again, to deflect it away from us if it bounces off. For safety. Okay, I am ready. All right, here it comes. Now you can see a lot of debris flying in the air. That's the wadding that's been all shredded up. Uh, but despite that, the slug is still very stable and still pretty accurate. He was just a off a little bit on that shot, but let's see what happened on that one. Okay, yeah. looks like you hit the close to the sticker. I think that one had a little wobble going. This yeah. Sticker was right here. Oh, okay, I see it. And here's where our impact point was. Okay, made a little cra cavity there, crater. Oh, a little cavity there, like maybe. These are loaded that hot. That's, but let's shoot the titanium one at it. Oh, that sounds like fun. We'll get some more velocity. That's and, uh, maybe one, two millimeters. Okay, in depth. In depth. Okay, still more more damage than a, a AR-15 AR would do to it. Yeah, no bulge. Doggone it. Darn it. Okay, the titanium slug. Let's see how that performs. I'll keep an eye on the chrono. Okay, I'm ready. 1079. That one hit harder. It, it chrono might be right. This is the big surprise of the day. When we saw this huge shower of sparks, I thought that maybe this one was made out of magnesium and not titanium. Now, as soon as I got home from filming this, I contacted Chris and asked him, was that one made out of magnesium by any chance? And he said he, he said it was titanium and he bought it off of eBay from China. But he did tell me that this particular slug was very difficult to machine being made out of the titanium. Okay, what happened there? Yeah. That may not have been uh, titanium. I think it might have been magnesium. I'm thinking it was a magnesium. We totally, look at that, there's some shrapnel in there. 
little bits of it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the slow mo is going to really show this one. That was the first impact. That was the brass uh, brass pellet behind it. And this one was the titan magnesium. <laughs> it's one of the easiums. He wrote it down, and I just. I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll, re, I'm, uh, I'm inclined to agree with you. I think it was magnesium. Yeah, yeah. It, pretty good little show, but it just turned into a, a firework, you know. Very so cool. very slight dent there. Okay. Not much. It still would have put on a nice show at night, you know. Oh, for that, that would have been millisecond. That would have been impressive. Yeah. Well, overall, I think those were a pretty good round. I, I, I didn't know what to expect. I expected, actually, they'd be in stable and maybe it would be hard to hit targets, but they were accurate. Accurate once we went to the full rifle barrel. Pretty decent damage. We weren't, we, I didn't push those too hard. A pretty moderate load, but uh, it performed fantastic. Happy Halloween, Calf later, folks. <laughs> Who is that masked man? Well, that was pretty scary, but imagine being a YouTuber, waking up every morning and seeing more and more of your videos demonetized for no apparent reason. There's no rhyme or reason behind it. Many of these videos were our legacy videos that had millions of views. Now, fortunately, we have some support on Patreon. We could definitely use more help, or if you don't want to help our channel, help other channels that need your help. We really want to thank these folks for their generosity. You know, this year we've had to cancel a lot of things like going to Arizona, just driving to Arizona to the big Sandy machine gun shoot. This year they've got some really cool stuff. They've got an M60 tank shooting live rounds. They've got a, a ball turret from a B-17 shooting live rounds. And they also have a 20 millimeter Vulcan Gatling gun. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Thanks for watching.